This is one up Indie and here I will give you a little overview of what you can do with surfaces. And I'm not talking about the application surface, but regular additional surfaces. As you can see here, um, on the top left corner, I'm creating lots of lots of instances. And then this little bullet thing, which is just being shot out, um, just stays on the floor, but creates an instance which just stays there. And as you can see, the frame rate is dropping the more instances I create. And well, this is something which is kind of stupid and we don't want that to happen because you're just wasting resources for, well, this little effect which you can do easy. And for example, if you can see, you may be thinking, okay, why don't I just draw that on the screen? Well, yes, you can do that, but the regular draw event works a little bit different than the surface draw. So, um, what the application surface does is just basically just drawing something and then wiping this the screen clear of everything and just drawing it again. And that's why, for example, you see a sort of the illusion of, um, of movement and so on, which is basically not there. And as you can see on the top left corner, this is a draw event too, and it's just updating all the time the numbers of the frames and the instances. But we want to have a static drawing that stays and that we can do with a regular surface so let's just get right into it and see how we can do this basically we just have this room and we just draw drag and drop our surface into the room so it stays around and draws things additionally onto the screen like a sticker you can just imagine it so, how does this work? Basically, you need to set it up in three things, in the draw, and the destroy, and the create event. Destroy, because we don't want our surface to linger around. Draw, because it's basically just drawing, and that's nothing else, it's just a draw. And create, so we can initialize it. So, let's get started right away here. Well, first of all, we need a variable, and we call it surface, but you can call it whatever you like. And we say surface create and we just create a surface but now it demands to input a width on the height depending on your room and what kind of size and uh, how re resource intensive your game is you can go for example for a room width and room height so you just basically fitting the surface to your whole space but sometimes you don't want that, you just want to have um, all your stuff which you uh, want to do with the surface just on your view or your camera. Depending on that, you should change that code, but for now we just go for room width and room height. So once we have that set up, we want it to destroy once we have no use for this surface. Because this is just, um, it's not too resource intensive, but it clogs up your memory and if you don't need it we just want to get rid of it so we go for surface and free there's no surface destroy you just free the surface so we go in here and it demands an id the id we just created and in our draw event all the magic is happening but this is just like a pre-setup so once it works we don't have to touch it ever again so we go for so we have to go and check if our surface is already existing and you will see some um, things which I'll just show you later that surfaces are not always there. This is not something which is always given. Once you refresh your uh, screen, the application surface, then it will get reset it and it just kicks it out. And that's why we have to do some measures to prevent that. So here we go for surface exist and again our ID and then we just want it to draw and we say draw surface and here it demands again our ID come on and the X and Y here we just go for 0 and 0 this just means that we are starting from this point and if you, for example, are doing this dynamically, maybe you want to lock it to your view, your camera, so you have to update that. But for now, we don't want that. We just go for zero, zero, and 
it will go to the whole screen so it won't change anything for this demonstration and well this is basically it very very easy the surface is, uh, is there in action and you can use it and for now we want to do something like this we take our bullet and once it's been spawned and it hits this thing we want the bullet to be destroyed but then we want before it's getting destroyed to draw on this um, spot where it last landed so this is our plan so how do we do this we just go into our draw van and ask again if our surface is existing and because I don't want to do that every time I just copy this little code here if it does exist and say surface but because our surface is not in our bullet object but in our surface object we just have to say alright is this surface being created or does it has it been created in our surface object and if it has we have to ask three questions first of all where we want to draw it so we have to assign it a target because it needs to be assigned then we want to say what to draw and here's all the stuff which you want to do like clear the screen or uh, cut something out or draw something this is all the stuff here and after we have done our job we want it to reset because we have to do that so first of all we need to set our target this is how we do it we just go for surface set target and we want to say all right what kind of surface do we want to use and that's how we do it we just go all right we want to have our surface which we created in our O surface great and then in the end we just want to say surface reset target and I just copy and paste that here because I don't, I'm pretty lazy I don't want to write that this is how it actually works and here we just draw something for example we draw our sprite which we use um, in our bullet so for example this bullet has lots of properties and we just want to take them so we go for sprite whoops index image index and these green uh, values are just like returning the values which are stored which index and these green values are just um, saying all right i just want from our bullet our sprite then i want its sub image then i want it x and y value because this is where it is and then the image x scale the image y scale then the rotation which is just called image angle and well a lot color we don't want any tinting so we just take the original color and the image come on image alpha where are you here we go and this is how we just basically take all the resources or the other information of our sprite which we just assigned here and this is how we do it we just draw the whole thing on the screen and now if you run it you will see something strange and before that we just go for instance destroy because we don't want it to linger around it's just hitting the wall which is just here and just made it invisible and once it's hitting the wall well we want to draw now we see something strange which is this because it's static and this is the fun part um, you can do this this whatever this this effect as a trail if you like but um, well this is static drawing because it's drawing all this time 60 times per second and so you get this stuff and it's just staying there on the screen and once for example we go for full screen it's gone it's completely gone 
So this is the negative thing about surfaces once you resize your screen and the application surface is being resized too surface is being terminated and it's gone that's why um, you have to just do another thing you have to do a check if it doesn't exist well create it anew so this is how we do it just say, go for a negative version and where's the code for the creation we have it already here and just go back into our bullet and create it anew but be, because we don't want it to create it in our bullet, we have to create it in our object surface, which is there for all the handling of the surface things. So this is a fallback. We have to do that all the time um, so it can work properly. So now you can see this thing is still working, but well, we still don't want this trail to be happening. So how can we circumvent that? I just have this little uh, variable which is just being triggered to true once we hit the wall and we just go into our um, surface and just say alrighty are you hitting the wall great and if it's true then draw and this should already be finished but there's a little thing well you will see now and now what you should be seeing is that the bullets are falling, getting destroyed because they're hitting the wall and they should be drawing, but they're not drawing. So why is that actually happening? Well, it's because the draw event is happening before the hit event. For example, you can see like the create event is happening first, then the step, then the alarm and so on. They have like a hierarchy and that's why they are in this hierarchy here. So. If we are hitting the wall, we just say, all right, we're hitting the wall, and then we just destroy the instance. The draw event would be happening the next step. So, all that stuff about like, yeah, we don't want to move. So all the stuff about this thing wouldn't be happening because it needs one more step. So how can we circumvent that in this scenario? We just go for an alarm. Alarm and go for a zero alarm. Set it to one step because that's good enough. Of course, you can go for more, then you will be drawing a few more of those um, sprites for the bullet. And we just go into alarm and just say, All right, instance destroy. And now you can see that it should work. There are a few instances which are happening, but they are deleting. So our frame rate stays nice and sweet about, I don't know, 4000 frames per second, which is quite nice. And this is how you do a lot of, lot of effects, which I'll be showing in some advanced tutorials. For example, like cutting out things from the uh, screen and doing like uh, a light effect, or for example, um, doing some sort of a detail effect, which I'll be showing you later on and so on. And well, this is just for basics, so you understand what are regular draws and what you can do with surfaces. Have a good one. One up indeed.